Hello Love and Montreal, this is Megana and welcome back to another episode of Vanguard TV. In this broadcast, we'll be covering the topics of Emerald Elite, World Languages, Softball, and a fun segment. Begin by looking at our amazing Emerald Elite team with Emma and Cadence. Hey guys, it's Emma here. All of us know about the Emerald Elite and how much of a cool dance team they are, so let's go learn a little more about them. Um, my favorite event that we participated in is probably football season. Halftime is just amazing and alongside my friends it's just really fun. As much as I love football season, I'd have to say contest season. It's a lot of fun and especially after the long mornings and the long practices that we go through, it's amazing to see it all pay off and watch it all come to life at contest. So I chose to be a part of Emerald Elite because my sister, Ella, she's a senior and she's the first lieutenant on the team. And I just saw how she got to grow being on the team and I'm so happy that I joined because I've grown not only as a dancer but as a person and it just really brought out my love for dance. I love dancing and I was dancing since I was nine. So it's just been a part of me for a while. And then when I tried out, I was like, oh, okay. So I just did it because I like dancing. Um, my favorite thing about being a part of Emerald Elite is the involvement. I love being able to do what I love in an environment where I can be with my friends. And all of the things we get to do, like football games and fundraisers and competition, it's just really fun all around. It's like a big giant family. You feel supported by everybody. You have amazing directors and if you don't feel judged, you always feel um, like you're, you're in a good place, that you, you belong. Congrats and continue dancing, everyone. Back to you, Magana. Thanks, Emma. Our school offers a different variety of world language classes. Let's go look at the different options with Dean and Maddie. Hi, I'm Maddie with the Vanguard. Today, we're gonna to be talking about world languages. Here at LT, we teach three main languages. That's Spanish, French, and Chinese. Let's go check it out. So what is the importance of learning Spanish? I think it's very important to learn Spanish so you're able to communicate with people from different cultures. Especially living in Texas, we have a lot of people who speak Spanish here, so I think it's very important for us to be able to communicate with not just some people, but everybody. So my favorite phrase is Viva la Raza, and that means long live the people. Something I thought was really unique to Spanish is um, mi cielo, which is um, like, I guess in English it, it translates to my sky, but it's like my love, um, my precious thing, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think is the importance of learning language? Um, to me, learning a language, uh, I think in general, one of the things you get when you learn something is it can help all your brain stuff, so like critical thinking, memory, and it's one of those things where you can just ask, like, why not learn it? Okay. And then, what do you think is something unique about French? Um, I think it just sounds really fancy. It has a lot of, um, little add-ons on the words, like, very, like, silent. How did you decide to learn Chinese? Uh, funny story, it's actually because I didn't make it into Spanish in eighth grade. So I'm just like, I'm tired of Spanish, I want to take Chinese instead. So it interested me. And what do you think is something unique about Chinese? I think what makes it unique is that it has different symbols and tones. Unlike other languages, they don't have as many tones or um, 
symbols. Some of them are just like romanized words instead of symbols. I hope you like learning about different languages. Let's go back to the Vanguard. Thank you, Maddie. Now let's take a quick commercial break from our sponsors. scheduled programming. Let's end our broadcast with a fun segment with Bradston and Avery. Bop! <laughs> um, it's a bop. Bop. But like a, like a subtle bop. It's a bop. Kanye is a bop, but I personally don't listen to him a lot. Uh, bop. He got some spiritual music. I like his religion. Bop. The songs that I know are really good. Bop. 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 I think many people would get mad at me if I said flop, so bop. Bop. Uh, but also, no, I think I think she's I think she's good. Yeah, bop. Uh, flop. Oh wait, wait. Uh, bop. Bop. But in like the really teenage girl way, bop. It's a flop. I'm sorry. It's a flop. Uh -uh. Um, he's cringe. <laughs> Flop. He's just sounding goofy. Bob. Uh, flop. Flop. Really bad. Really bad. Flop. <laughs> flop. 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 <laughs> I don't like Britney Spears. Bob. I love her. Britney Spears is definitely Bob. Bob for sure. Uh, flop. I don't really listen to her songs. Okay, I think Bop, but like... Harry Styles? Oh, that's a flop, 100%. Bop. Yes, 1,000%. Is that a question? That is all for this broadcast. I'm Megana Kuchipudi with Vanguard News, and I'll see you next time.